Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a blowout um, using rusk on my hair. I just washed and conditioned it. This you can just spray on, leave on. This is the only thing I use when I'm blow drying my hair. I probably use two to three sprays, maybe four depending on my hair texture that day. So I massage it in at the roots especially to evenly distribute because that's the driest part of my hair. And then I make sure I get all the ends incorporated. I usually section off a piece of the hair and then go in with a round brush and start blow drying. Making sure I start right at the root since that's the waviest part of my hair, applying most of the heat to there and then pulling it through with the brush. I also have my blow dryer on the highest heat temp. Um, if I don't, my hair will curl back up and become more frizzy. So I just try to aim right at the root and then pull through on the brush curling it at the ends. The texture that I have in the back is a lot straighter than in the front. The front tends to be more wavy and kinky and all the curls are tight in the front. The back is usually really fast and easy to blow through. That's why I tend to start in the back. As you can see, it's starting to get curlier and I have to pull the brush a little tighter to hold it to flatten out and get straighter. So I pull the blow dryer and aim it towards the root base of the, the hair and try to get the underneath of the hair so I don't damage the top of the hair. And as I work my way towards the front, um, it gets curlier and wavier so it's a lot harder to pull the hair. But I try to aim it, um, getting the, the heat directed right at the roots. The front can be a little tricky, especially with this big brush, but I find that it straightens the hair out better with a bigger brush than a smaller one. Plus, I don't like it to get snagged and pull the front of my hair. Um, so I just continue to curl and press the blow dryer against the brush and against my hair. And um, I keep using that circular motion and continue around the front. And once I get to the front part, I um, make sure that I am pulling the hair while I'm aiming the heat directly at the roots.
This is the waviest section of my hair, so I just continue to pull through with the brush, aiming the heat at the root, pulling it up and into a circular motion so that I don't lose control of the brush or the blow dryer. The trickiest part is really trying to get the hair to wrap around the brush so you don't lose control and so that you are getting a nice finished product. Once I see that I've managed to dry the root, I curl the ends. Even though I'm gonna go through with a flat iron after, I wanna make sure those roots are dry and that the whole hair is dry because you don't wanna put a flat iron on wet hair, you will burn it off. Um, you can see that it's a little more wavy right here towards the crown. Getting the front of the hair to curl around the brush is the trickiest part. You just wanna make sure that you're pulling the brush so you can pull the waves out with the blow dryer and aim the heat towards the roots and just keep pulling it in a circular motion and down. Aiming the brush towards the roots and pulling the hair up and down. I don't know if this is a good angle so that you can see that I am aiming the blow dryer right at the roots and pulling it up and around the brush and just continue to do that until it's dry. This one area in the front is so intense because it's hot, but I have to pull the hair in order to make sure it gets straight and the heat will dry it really fast and now the hair is thinner right there in the front. I decide to clean my ears, get all that crap out of there. Um, and I don't put any extra products in my hair. After I blow dry it, I just use the Rusk Multi uh, Spray and that's it. But I know some people like to have some sheen or um, like an extra to keep it all flat and down. Um, I do have keratin oil that I put like on my daughter's hair. Let me see if I can get it out um, like that. But any keratin or gloss spray, Garnier has a great gloss spray. I'll show it after. Um, that you could just put when you're all done with the flat iron. But I just got this flat iron. I know I'm covering the Baby Bliss Titanium. It's a two inch. Um, I normally have my Amica that I got from my Fab Fit Fun Box. Um, this is a one inch. This is perfect for like making curls and short hair but this is amazing as you will see But if your hair is thinner, you probably want it on a lower setting so you don't burn your hair off. Um, my hair is very different. Um, I'll talk about my hair texture either at the beginning or the end.
I'm paying close attention to the roots once again and pulling it slowly through, um, following the comb with the flat iron to make sure it goes across evenly and not focusing too much on the ends because they will burn their thinner. Just getting the roots and then sliding it once or twice. The crazy squeaking is the floor mixed with the kids in the background. The hour that I have to myself. Because when you're a mom, you gotta prioritize. Now, I normally just, once my hair is done, I just put it right back up in a bun because life goes on. And it's out of the way, it's done, it's clean. Now I move on to the rest of my daily stuff. But you can see I'm trying to get super close to those roots because they get pretty crazy if the heat doesn't touch it and that's the last thing you want is like your ends to be straight and then you have these crazy roots that are just doing whatever they want so i try to leave a little bit of heat there and less time on the other parts because I don't want to burn my ends. The ends are thinner, less coarse. And then I probably will break out the other one. I said, leave more time on the coarser hair, more heat. Just a few seconds. You don't need to like clamp it down and forget about it. You will be bald. I just want to give that area more attention. All right, so I try to pull with the comb, but sometimes your hands are just the best. I'm getting really close to those edges and roots. The front of my hair has like a completely different texture than the back. Totally different. There's my gray streak is also there. And grays tend to be way more coarse than the rest. Look at that. So nice and straight. Like, to me, it looks good, just like this. Like all these flyaways, and it's the Garnier Fructis. Um, new look, but I'm sure it's old now. Sleek and shine, brilliant glossing spray. I just do two and let it catch. Wipe it down just to Give it some shine. Show you the back. And that's that. I don't really care about the flyaways. Some people do. So the two products that I would recommend, this Rusk, I found this at Marshall's. Still has a price, 10 bucks. And this Garnier, that's all I use.